Hey guys, this is Siddharth and you are watching College Companion. And uh, I have not posted a video in a long time. So please help me in this video. Put some comments. Do whatever that can help. Uh, so that I can have this motivation to post more. Subscribe if you haven't already. So today is, what is it? It's 11th of August. And uh, yesterday there was a convocation uh, at IIT Delhi and I think that must be the case for other colleges as well you know it's the time of convocation so i feel like once the last batch goes out in the convocation it's exactly the time where a new batch can start to feel that you know they are there now <laughs> so i find this as a good date an opportunity to give you some suggestions uh, about what things to take care in mind especially if you're doing a master's in cognitive science but I think these things are relevant for any um, degree, any master's degree. Uh, and I, I, I mean, this is something that I've learned over the last two, over the two years of my master's. And I, if I knew these things earlier, I think it would have been a better experience. So uh, for me, it's like passing this information to you. So you have this head start and you don't lose out those two years learning those things because those two years will not come again. And the first thing that I really want to say to you is uh, you know don't think twice before asking a question in a class and uh, I think it's very important that uh, we keep that in mind because uh, I took this class uh, machine learning class by uh, Mr. Sumantra and uh, he said a very beautiful thing you know uh, when someone was asking the doubt they said uh, uh, I think this is a stupid question as I'm not sure if I should ask the question. And then uh, the professor said that, you know, there are no uh, stupid questions. Uh, there are only <laughs> maybe stupid or wrong answers. And I hope I'm not giving that. I find it very beautiful. Uh, I do think there are no stupid questions. But yeah, of course, your timing may be not the best at times when you're asking a question. You're maybe breaking the flow. But... I think once you find the right time, you should definitely ask whatever doubts you have uh, because uh, there are people uh, around you in the class that might have the same doubt, but they are too shy. So maybe you are helping uh, them at the same time. And uh, definitely the teachers have more wisdom and experience. <laughs> so uh, I think it's always good to do that. And uh, yeah, don't forget that. And I think it also helps uh, to when you have a discussion with the faculty uh, in an offline setting, if you're discussing projects or internships uh, or any meeting with regards to your marks in an exam or an assignment, I think it's always good to have a minutes of meeting for it. I think it's always helpful to have something documented because uh, most of the faculty at times are very busy to even remember if they saw you that day at that time you know so it's good to have that documentation and then mail them this is what we discussed so that you have something to look back to and it helps the faculty as well to uh, have this documentation to look back to and yeah I mean you can also feel very out of place at times because it's a new experience and people are coming from different places of India and sometimes different places of the world. If you consider uh, the exchange students and people who come for the masters come from every place. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's okay to feel that way, but I think it's also important that way. Uh, you are not alone in this. You are not alone at all. You have your, if you live in a hostel, you have your hostel mates. Always you have your class with you, you have your seniors, I mean, text them, message them. You have your faculty who has this worth of experience, sometimes 30 years, you know. So use that opportunity. You are not alone, we are all in this together. Doesn't matter if I am not in the ecosystem anymore, if someone else is, but internally, spiritually, I think we are all together because we have had the same experiences overall. and. Uh, yeah, and so so I would say that every problem has a solution. 
you may feel different things different days about same problem and that's okay good to know that there is a solution at the end you know talk to people who think you think might know more and uh, yeah i think it's also important to go outside your department and don't stick with cognitive science uh for your internships or for your master project or for uh your courses you know so there are certain parts where you can take open electives so you can uh, actually go and have these courses and uh, different from different uh, faculties right so i had a course machine learning from electric group engineering by professor sumantra and someone else had a couple of courses from design department so that's always uh, uh, good to have i think good to explore uh so do that do that don't limit yourself to uh cognitive science department hss department as it is in the case of iit delhi so don't restrict yourself because through that you uh meet new people you know get the engineering perspective if you take these courses and uh, and and especially cognitive science is a very interdisciplinary course so you need all these perspectives from different different areas to actually explore different ideas later i think it's good to have that so try that and so generally it's a two year course at a masters level so i would say especially in case of cognitive science you have so much going on so i would say it will be really helpful if you have it all together by the end of one year at least uh, at a broader level like okay this is the area that i want to study i mean of course you might already have some idea before you start a masters but definitely after one year i think you should know that okay i am more interested into decision making or i am more interested into cognitive psychology or i'm more interested into computational side of things as artificial intelligence because then according to that you can plan your internships you can plan your projects i think that's very helpful and the next thing that was really helpful to me is like don't let your free time go to waste in a sense that if you have a winter break maybe look for some winter school or internship internship might not be possible because it's too short of a time but definitely look for something like winter school IIT Jodhpur organizes one if you're interested into artificial intelligence that's the one i attended during my time uh you can try a summer school uh that's what i did as well during my time i went to triple iit hyderabad because i'm more interested into a language so they had a uh, nlp summer school so i tried that and it was a very memorable experience and i think through these experiences uh, we also meet uh, very interesting people and create memories you know and that's very important i think sometimes we get caught into this idea of uh, regress reading but i think in a research area it's also important to meet new people and in life in general you know to have these experiences flat of experiences so that i can look back to and uh, realize yeah yeah it, it was a cool year i mean I I met nice people I had new food new places to visit and cherry on the cake I also know my area better now because uh of so many interesting talks that I experienced at uh, these summer schools so never let these vacations go waste one winter I went to CBCS uh to go through the equipments that I use in cognitive science research one summer I went to this uh, NLP summer school and then i also did this winter school in iit jodhpur so all three of my vacations were occupied in this way uh, i think that's very helpful uh, yeah i think it's also i think conferences are also a very key role and you don't necessarily have to have a paper or a poster for that uh, i think you just need a that experience of attending the conference because of course you will get to meet more people and interact with them and then 
if you find someone with a research area similar to yours, then you can request them if they have some internship or a project that you can work with. I think it's always very helpful because I call this like the zeroth interaction, because if you are able to interact with the person in real life, that means you have already give them some view of your soft skills. Uh, and then they, they would remember you if you apply to their uh, lab or company, you know, that, ah, yeah, I met them there and they seem to be interesting, they are curious. So the resume is like giving a soul to your resume when you then send a resume because you already have interacted with them. Uh, yeah, and the, the way to do it is attend these conferences. Sometimes they are free to attend. These conferences also have online versions like uh, IMPRS and psycholinguistics. They also run an online version. So that's helpful. And uh, uh, ACCS happens in India, Cognitive Science Conference. There you can volunteer. So find ways to just get into the room and uh, then things will be easier from there. And next, I think it's also important to have a social media understanding like not necessarily you don't have to be on social media 24 7 but it's good to have uh, the understanding especially in research context like it used to be a twitter used to be a thing where you would get the information regarding openings of what is there in terms of research and terms of internships phd i think twitter used to be a very good platform now it's it's all right i think it's still there but uh, uh but yeah now you have to go a bit beyond and look through other uh scholarships.com or other websites if i'm not wrong that's the name and uh, yeah i think it's also helpful to have a google search where you can add all your interests uh and then you have this news alert that you can do that i also tried which is actually quite helpful so you can all add all your keywords and then have this news alert or some google search alert and so yeah that helps and social media is also about reaching out to people uh you can use email there's linkedin there is uh twitter of course so i mean you should I mean, there should be a reason to reach out someone you should not just reach out uh, as i mean it's okay to do that as well but i think it helps to have a reason like if you're looking for something and be concrete about it like okay this is what i want to do i search your profile and i feel like uh i can help you with this thing and things like that i mean i think that can be a whole new conversation and lastly yeah cognitive science is a very welcoming field so you don't have to be uh necessarily from certain backgrounds uh, we welcome everyone so i've seen people from journalism entering cognitive science i've seen people from computer science and psychology and linguistics and all the aspects entering uh this master's degree so don't worry you'll get through yeah i think these are the things that i really wanted to tell you and uh, lastly there's this beautiful quote from a tv show it says you can be anything what you want to you just need to know what yeah uh all the best i, I hope this uh, was helpful for you and this is a very beautiful setting i thought of using this today and it's kind of weird because people around are always interested in what's going on and they're giving me smiles and you know <laughs> uh, becoming a part of it uh, without becoming a part of it so that's why if you see me looking here and there it's just uh, reacting to them and yeah like share and subscribe and there will be more such videos hopefully uh, see you in the next video